Good morning everyone. So today I'm here in Pai in Northern Thailand. We're really close to the border of Myanmar now. So yeah, really up north. This is gonna be the furthest up north we're gonna go here in Thailand. I'm currently outside the place that we're staying. So we're staying in that little hut over here. And this is basically our view. Got all these rice fields and the mountains. It is all dried up right now, so it's not as nice as it would normally look. Normally, all this would be like a lush green, but yeah, like I said, it's just really dry right now, so it's all yellow. Seems to be some kind of like bowls here as well. This is our crib here. What are you passing? Much needed insect repellent. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere, right? Yeah. This room only has a fan though. So I think this cost us like $17 a night. It is the low season, so that's why, obviously in the high season with this view, it would be a lot more money. And at night, it's actually okay with a fan here, because I guess we're up north, so it's been okay with uh, without the AC. And now I'll show you upstairs. Check it out. So basically at the top of all these huts, everyone has like the little bed to lie down on. Got some chairs as well. And then yeah, you just get this cool view. Pretty awesome. So we got our scooter rental for the next two days. It's gonna be about 180 baht per day, just under six dollars a day, so not too bad. And now we're gonna head out. I think we're gonna to head to a waterfall if it's so hot. So yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Thank you. We've arrived uh, at the trail anyway, not the waterfall. So this waterfall is called Hua Chang uh, Waterfall. And the lady back there says that means elephant's head. And we came to this one, it's supposed to be one of the only ones that has like a good flow of water during the dry season. Probably see behind me, everything's dead pretty much. And this was the first motorbike ride where it wasn't cool riding the bike. It felt like steam like the hot air wasn't cool at all so uh, yeah to be honest i've chosen a pretty bad month to come to to pie because yeah the beauty of it is seeing all the green right but yeah we're trying to make the most of it and even thailand in general i don't think april is a good month to come it's just been too hot and too dry You've been finding it too hot as well, right? Yeah, it's too hot. I think I think it's even hotter than in summer in Brazil, in Rio at least. Yeah, obviously we've lived in um, Rio and Texas, which are two very hot places, <laughs> but here is way worse, seriously. Texas gets this hot, but um, pretty much nobody walks in Texas. You just get in your car with AC, and all the buildings there have AC, so you don't really feel it. But just to give you an idea, it's been over the 40s Celsius just pretty much every day. And for you Americans that are watching, that's above 100. So every day above 100, it's just it's too crazy. So yeah, I'd probably come in another month, but hopefully this waterfall is gonna be good. I've heard that we, we cross it like 15 times. That's another reason why I decided to come here. So along the trail, we'll be able to like um, refresh ourselves and stuff. So should be okay, because it's uh, our trail.
<laughs> you gotta do it properly. What? I'll show you how it's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think we have arrived. A bit more trickier to get here than expected. There's not that many signs. And there's parts you have to actually walk up through the water, not cross, like walk up through it. But yeah, I think I can see people now. So I actually took like an hour and 30 minutes. So longer than I expected as well. So we've got a cool part here with a strong current. But I think the waterfall is in the back over there. Carol leading the way. Alright, check it out. Alright, pretty cool. Two falls. You can tell they're really powerful though. Like really strong water. All right, it's cool. We got like a little trail that goes up the waterfall. You can see behind me here. Looks pretty cool. You even got more streams there, look. So we had the two powerful ones, and then you got this little pool here as well. All right, we're now going into the whirlpool. We're heading back now, just got another one hour and a half uh, hike back. I think if we get back in time, I think we're going to try and go to some cool temple that's right near uh, where we're staying. So yeah, hopefully we have enough time. We've come to the most popular temple here. I think it's called Big Buddha Temple or also known as White Buddha because you're gonna see it's a big white like statue in the hills. You've gotta go up many steps. I'm not sure how many, but looks like quite a lot. And a lot of you might notice that I'm wearing just a vest. So in all the temples that I've been so far, they don't really care if male are showing their arms. Even some of them don't care if women are showing their arms as well, but just depends on the temple. Some of them say for you to cover up, so yeah, Carol always pretty much yeah. wears this temple stuff. But yeah, for guys, if you just wear a vest, not a single one that I've been to has had a problem with it. I always ask at the front just to make sure, but they always just let you in anyway. Yeah, but I think they're more strict with women. Yeah, for sure, right? Yeah. So we're like halfway right now. You can already see some pretty nice views here. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot better up there. All right, so we've arrived at the top. Really tiring. Must be like 200, 300 steps or something. 
But that thing is absolutely gigantic, probably one of the biggest Buddhas that I've seen so far. And yeah, like I said before, you just get an amazing view up here. It's kind of hazy, but still pretty awesome. And right now, it's currently empty. Pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> too hot. What? It's too hot. Yeah, hot coals. Yeah. Can just about bear it. <laughs> really hot though. Anyway, let's get closer to this thing. You're not coming, Carol? No, thank you. No? <laughs> His hand's slightly damaged. I don't know what happened there. Shade. <laughs> See some pretty beautiful designs. All right, yeah, I'm heading back because this is really hot. Pretty cool though. Okay, so we decided to end the day at a place called Pie Canyon. It's supposed to be a really nice spot to like watch the sunset and stuff. Right now we just gotta do this trail. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. Hopefully soon, cause yeah, the sun's going down. So I wanna catch this sunset. Wanna head that way? Looks pretty sketchy, right? Watch out. <laughs> Look at this guys, so you got this little walkway. Either side. Death. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this crazy. It's a lot nicer than I thought. I didn't realize it was gonna be like this thin walkways. Bit dangerous, you gotta watch out. But pretty cool. Check that out. So we were over there, but there's so many people there. Got people walking along this one. Amazing mountain views in the background. And which way are we heading, Carol? Uh, that way. That way? Yeah, it looks quiet up here. We're gonna head up there, but we'd have to go all the way down this thing. And I don't want to come back up there. I don't think you do either, Carol, right? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're cool here anyway. We're just gonna chill out here. Way better than I thought. I think I had seen this place in a video ages ago, but I didn't realize how big it was. I thought it was just like a small canyon with one sitting area, but yeah, you can just walk all the way over this thing and find different places, so pretty amazing. And then don't come come with flip-flops <laughs> like you like you and me yeah <laughs> good idea gonna close the video out now everybody's leaving the sun's gone down you can see this is a pretty wacky place to come definitely can see why people come here for the sunset just some amazing scenery and yeah this is it from Pai. Pai has been pretty spectacular the last two days definitely the most laid-back place that we've been in Thailand so far so 
yeah, it's just been really great. Even though it's not the best season to come here, it's still amazing. So I'm not sure if I'm going to film any more in Thailand. I'll see. Maybe there'll be one more video. Um, but next, I'm going to be heading to Bali in Indonesia. So possibly the next videos will be from there. So as always, just thanks for watching. Drop a like to help support me. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.